we often see insect bite induced hypersensitivity in young children what is it due to let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karamat this is scientific doctor channel in this channel every week health related explanations are given via short videos if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released this week's video is about insect bite allergy a form of insect bite allergy is insect bite induced hypersensitivity or insect bite hypersensitivity or technically called as papular urticaria this is different from a allergic typical wheel reaction so which can happen because of insect bites or foods are related to inhalation ingestion touch where you have a wheel reaction which is a short term reaction which lasts for 5 to 7 days and goes away for some children you have a chronic insect bite allergy more often in forearms and in legs in exposed areas where it is present for months together even for years what is this due to this is also a form of insect bite induced hypersensitivity also called as papular urticaria or called persistent insect bite reaction where you might not see the insect actually this is a hypersensitivity reaction they are sensitized for the first time so when an insect bites for the first time they are not exposed to it they are sensitized when the same insect bites them subsequently they develop these reactions so they may have raised red patches they may have red rashes like thing they may have papules they may have vesicles they may have intense itching because of itching they may scratch and get secondary infections when they heal also they may leave scars whether it is hyperpigmented that is dark or hypopigmented with loss of that pigment so pale scars so they may be present for a longer duration also whenever they have a repeated exposure to the same insect or other insects a new lesion may develop and they might have reactivation of these old lesion they will have intense pruritus or itching again in these regions in the old lesions also this is called papular urticaria or insect bite induced hypersensitivity this is classically common in young children between the ages of 2 to 10 years though children as young as 1 year and even adolescents might be affected but the peak age is between 2 to 10 years it is not present in newborn because they are not exposed once you are exposed once you go out then you get sensitized then you start reacting what happens when they become adults they usually outgrow this disease they become desensitized you get used to these insect bites so you don't react even if there are insect bites so it is little less common or rare in adults this is as i said classically present in the exposed areas usually in the forearms and legs even can happen on the face it is usually not present in the groin or, or in the axilla that is the inner regions it is classically not present in these areas what are the insects responsible any insect can be responsible like usually fleas which are present on the pets like cats and dog fleas or mosquitoes bed bugs so any insect can be the reason for this how do doctors diagnose there are some closely related conditions like scabies which is an entirely infectious cause and atopic dermatitis which is an allergic cause this is we have to differentiate between the two but you have a mnemonic called as scratch which can explain or which can explain this insect by induced hypersensitivity usually these lesions are symmetric yes symmetric c they occur in clusters usually they are in clusters or no rover that means you might not have a pet so you might not have a pet history i don't have a pet or the pet is with neighbor i don't i never had any exposure to pet but still you can be affected by those fleas so you need not have a pet associated a a is for age the classic age of 2 to 10 years t t is for time dependent usually it is a prolonged duration 
it happens for months to years the second c is for confused parent confused doctor because the parents vehemently deny any exposure to insects no we are clean there are no bed bugs they, we don't have a pet so usually it leaves the patient as well as the doctor confused few exposures are enough usually exposure history is not no very explicit so usually doctor as well as the patients are confused and h is there is no history in the family usually other infectious agents like scabies or atopic eczema will have a strong family history whereas insect bite induced hypersensitivity is a specific reaction by that individual so you may not have family history in majority of individuals so there will be only one person so we are all living in the same environment then why this child alone exhibits such a reaction that will be the question asked by the parents so all these will be present in insect bite induced hypersensitivity how to treat this first of all we must understand these children outgrow this disease so as they grow older this disease tends to get better they will become perfectly normal but we have to understand they are experiencing intense symptoms they have intense pruritus so you need to treat for now but on a long term basis they will get better so the treatment can be classified as three p's again ppp the first p is you have to have a protective clothing so whenever you go out your exposed area should be covered especially a person who has had insect bite hypersensitivity they should have protective clothing so you should protect yourself from flea or insect bites second p is management of pruritus that is management of itching you have medicines topical as well as oral medicines which your doctor will prescribe to relieve the itching associated with this third p is patience it takes time so you need to have patience for it to get rid of this problem so you can't say no i have taken this treatment for 5 days it's not getting better so i will go to the next mode of treatment that doesn't work here you need to have patience so these three p's are essential in the treatment of this condition what are the problems associated with this condition because of the intense itching because of scratching you might have had secondary infection associated with this so whenever secondary infections are there they need to be treated with appropriate antibiotics antibiotic creams or if it is very severe you might need to even take oral antibiotics so we need to prevent the complications you need to prevent this disease from happening again how to prevent this simple avoid insect bites so if you are having pets you can have them treated for fleas so you can avoid mosquito bites you can wear full sleeves you can always wear protective clothing if you in your house you can have insecticide sprays so all this will help in prevention of this condition from flaring up again okay what is the outcome as i said it is excellent because these children are going to become desensitized they are going to get used to these insect bites so as they grow older this condition is going to get better so this is not a lifelong condition but this is a condition with huge nuisance potential because of the intense itching with appropriate intervention you can reduce this and you can prevent future flare ups friends this was a short video on insect bite induced hypersensitivity if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye